Let's take a look at the concept of cross rates. Cross rates are the exchange rate between any two currencies not involving the US dollar. And it can be calculated from direct or indirect rates. And they're based on the US dollar exchange rate. Now, here we have a table from the Wall Street Journal back in 2009. A little bit small, I know it's a little difficult to read. But everything here is quoted in terms of dollars. Um, in this column, and I don't know how well you can see it on the video, it says in US dollars. So that's a direct quote. So for example, um, let's see, let's find a Mexican peso would be 0.0742 dollars, or actually seven cents, not quite seven and a half cents or per US dollar. So how many pesos does it take? It takes 13 and a half pesos, roughly 13.4771 pesos to buy one US dollar. Now, why are these all quoted in US dollars? Well, because if you quoted exchange rates between the Mexican peso and the Canadian dollar, and the Mexican peso and the uh, Brazilian real, you would have an enormous number of quotes here. So you have a lot less quotes, but suppose you're interested in the exchange rate between the Mexican peso and the Brazilian real or the Mexican peso and the Japanese yen. How can you figure that out? Well, you can figure that out using the concept of cross rates. Now, this table's a little hard to see, so let me jump to another table here. This actually has cross rates, but let's Let's show you how you can actually calculate the cross rate between two different currencies um, using just exchange rates based on the dollar. So, so we'd be interested in this column and this row because these all relate to exchange rates for the dollar. So for example, suppose you're interested in the exchange rate between euros and yen. And I've recreated that table here. What would you do? You take the euros per dollar multiplied by the dollars per yen. So the euros per dollar is 0.7686 euros to buy one dollar and it's 0 0.0100 yen <clears throat> or dollars to buy one yen. So if you multiply those together you get 0 0.007686 euros per yen. And if you look right here this is the euro, in fact I should have highlighted that, this is the euro yen exchange rate it's 0 0.0077. They've just rounded off so that's the exchange rate. So by taking the the uh, euros per dollar exchange rate multiplying it by the dollars per yen, we got the <clears throat> euros per yen exchange rate. Likewise, we could, if we were interested in finding the yens per euro, we could, again, I've recreated this table, we could take the yen, the number of yen it takes to buy one US dollar, which is 99.9400, multiply it by the number of <clears throat> of uh, dollars it takes to buy one euro which is 1.0319 and if we multiply those two together we get one hundred thirty point one one now the exchange rate right here is one thirty point one zero zero and either that's due to some rounding or to some transaction costs but technically they should be exactly the same in the absence of transactions costs because if they're not then there would be an arbitrage opportunity. If the exchange rates were different when you do the cross rate, you would be able to convert your yen to dollars, convert your dollars to uh, euros, and, and wind up and then convert your money back to dollars, and you would have more than you started with. And if, if that happens, if the exchange rates are mispriced, there are going to be traders who are going to buy, go in and buy the, the currency that is priced too low 
and sell the currency that is priced too high and that's going to drive up the price of the currency that's too low and drive down the price of the currency to, that's too high until it's in equilibrium, until it's the correct cross rate that they should get. Now, with transactions cost, a small difference here, you know, 0 0.01, may not be enough for traders to make some money because after they have to pay their fees for, for doing the exchange, they may not be able to make any money. So you may have slight differences from what the theoretical value is, but technically, if there were no transactions costs, they should be exactly what you work out here from this cross rate.